Hola amigos, feliz viernes, hoy es viernes, yo soy Rory, estoy contento de estar aquí contigo. All right, today we're looking at some at-home care instructions, las instrucciones después de procedimientos menores. So some at-home care instructions after some minor procedures. Okay, so let's take a look at what some possible minor procedures are that maybe come through your office or uh, clinic, etc. Okay, cerrar la lesión con puntos o suturas. So closing up a wound with stitches. Colocar o retirar el diu o el implante. So colocar is to place like with intention. Retirar would be to take out. El diu is the IUD, so the um, birth control, right? And el implante would be implant. Congelarle la verruga, so to freeze a wart. Eh, hacerle, to do, uh, hacerle una biopsia, so to do a biopsy of the fill in the blank with whatever uh, tissue or part of the body. Una circuncisión a su hijo, so to do a circumcision. Una colposcopia, so colposcopy. Una vasectomía, vasectomy. Inyectarle la rodilla, so to inject your knee, la rodilla, la cadera, hip, el hombro, shoulder, la mano, hand. Limpiar las lesiones en los pies. So to clean up the wounds or lesions in your feet. Quitarle, so to take away or take off. Quitarle un cuerpo extraño, so to take out a foreign body. Uh, la etiqueta de, de la piel, so to take off a skin tag. Una sección de tejido um, del cuello uterino. So, a section of your um, cervical tissue, so like a leap. Y quitarle una uña del dedo de pie, so to take off like a toenail. And then sacar, is sacar una muestra de tejido para análisis o para una biopsia. So, to uh, take a tissue sample for analysis or biopsy or whatever. Okay, so you could probably think of some other minor procedures, um, and that's great. Put them in the comment section below. We'll be happy to help you explain what those are. Okay, so let's talk about how you might finish your appointment, explain to your patient what you did today. Okay, so que hicimos hoy? Hoy nosotros, today we cerramos la lesión con puntos. Today we closed up your wound with stitches. Le colocamos el diu, so we put in the IUD. O retiramos el diu, we took out the IUD. Le congelamos la verruga, so we froze the wart on en la mano or whatever. Le hicimos una biopsia de, so we did a biopsy of. Le, hicim, le hicimos una circuncisión a su hijo. And that should probably be a instead of de. It should be a su hijo. Le hicimos una vasectomía. So we did a vasectomy. Le inyectamos whatever the joint might be. Le, le inyectamos la mano, el, el hombro, etc. Limpiamos las lesiones en los pies. So we cleaned up your, your wounds on your feet. Le quitamos la etiqueta de piel. We took off that skin tag. Le quitamos una uña del dedo de pie. So we took off your toenail. Le sacamos una muestra de, de tejido para una biopsia. So we took a tissue sample for biopsy. Okay, so that's what we did. Now, instrucciones para seguir. So, some instructions to follow in casa. Es importante. It's important. Es importante cambiar la venda cada, no sé, 12 horas. It's important to change the bandage every, whoever knows, you know, right? 12 hours, maybe. Eh, es importante dejar que permanezca la costra. So, it's important to just leave the scab alone. La costra, the scab. No quitar la costra. Es importante not to pick at or take the scab off. Es importante mantener el área limpio y seco. It's important to keep that area clean and dry. Es importante no sumergir whatever body part en el agua. So it's important not to submerge whatever. Let's say it's a circumcision. El pene en el agua, right? Es importante no ducharse or no bañarse, to not shower or bathe por whatever number of days, okay? Es importante no introducir nada en la vagina durante any number of hours, horas, días, semanas, okay? So to not put anything inside the vagina. Es importante recordar, remember, que la inyección empieza a funcionar en unas 24 horas. So the injection, remember that the injection starts to work in about 24 hours. Y tiene su efecto completo and it has its full effect in one to two weeks. 
es importante usar la tablilla splint todo el tiempo. So it's important to use that splint all the time. Es importante usar otro método de contracepción por any number of weeks. So it's important to use another method of contraception for you, you specify the time frame. Okay, bien. So now talking about pain and other symptoms and how can we help them control them, things like that. Okay, so para ayudar el dolor, los síntomas. Si tiene dolor o si experimenta dolor, okay, tiene dolor if you have pain, si experimenta dolor if you experience pain. It looks like experiment, but it's not. It's experience. So si experimenta dolor, you can. So if you experience pain, you can. Tomar any number of pastillas de ibuprofeno or acetaminophen cada every however many or, hours, right? Cuatro a seis maybe, four to six hours. Puede usar compresas frías, so cold packs, or compresas calientes, hot packs, para aliviar el dolor, to alleviate the pain. Puede hacer actividad física leve, so you could do light physical activity, o practicar yoga. Puede practicar la meditación. You could practice meditation. Okay? Okay, so a handful of things para ayudar con el dolor. What about precauciones? Precauciones. Let's talk first about pain. El dolor. Si no puede controlar el dolor con sus medicamentos, if you can't control the pain with your medications, or si su dolor se empeora y no lo puede tolerar, or if your pain gets worse and you can't tolerate it, Okay, we're going to go to an infection. We've got some if clauses here, and then we're going to give the therefore or then what, okay? Si la piel alrededor de la incisión está roja y caliente, so if the skin around the incision is red and hot, si tiene fiebre sin explicación, if you've got a fever without explanation, si sale pus de la incisión, if you've got pus coming out of the incision, si... Any part of the body está inflamado, if a body part is inflamed. Si hay sangrado de, if there's bleeding from, fill in the blank with the body part. Necesita, or debe, you need to, you should, hacer una cita. You should make an appointment. Necesita ir a la sala de emergencias. You need to go to the emergency room. Debe llamar a la clínica. You should call the clinic. Okay, so we've got a whole bunch of if phrases here, and then a couple then what's a key. Let's look at one example. Let's go back to the IUD example and look at uh, how we might walk through some giving some simple instructions. All right, so que hicimos? Hoy nosotros le colocamos el dio. Today we inserted or placed the IUD. Recomendaciones? Necesita usar otro método de contracepción por una semana. You need to use another birth control method for a week. Es buena idea tomar ibuprofeno antes y después del procedimiento. It's a good idea to take some ibuprofen before and after um, the procedure. Es importante no introducir nada en la vagina durante 24 horas. So it's important not to put anything inside the vagina for 24 hours. Nosotros recomendamos que regrese a la clínica en un mes para checar los hilos. We recommend that you come back to the clinic um, in a month to check the strings, okay? Si le interesa, if you're interested in doing it, puede checar los hilos de vez en cuando. You can check the strings from time to time, pero no jale los hilos, but don't pull on the strings, okay? Continuing with el dio. Signals de advertencia, any warning signs to be aware of and to communicate? Es normal experimentar manchas y o sangrado irregular durante tres a seis meses. So it's normal to, remember what's experimentar? Experience. Es normal experimentar manchas y o sangrado irregular durante tres a seis meses. So it's normal to experience um, some spotting and irregular bleeding for three to six months. Pero, but, si sangra mucho, if you bleed a lot, por ejemplo, llenar una toalla o un tampón cada hora por cuatro horas. So, if you fill a pad or a tampon every hour for four hours, necesita llamar a la clínica. Okay? Si está mareada, necesita llamar a la clínica. If you're dizzy, you need to call the clinic. Si experimenta mucho dolor de estómago, if you've got a lot of stomach pain or experienced a lot of stomach pain, es muy importante llamar a la clínica. It's very important to call the clinic. 
Si tiene fiebre, escalofríos, so if you have fever, chills, calambres, cramps, necesita llamar a la clínica. You need to call the clinic. Si se le cae el dio, so if your IUD comes out, use otro método de contracepción y llamar a la clínica. So use another form of contraception and call the clinic. So all these underlined phrases here are some phrases that might be flexible. You can plug them into other scenarios also. So like, es normal experimentar. It's normal to experience, fill in the blank, whatever symptom or follow-up normal sort of, uh, uh, I guess, um, feelings you might have after a given procedure. Pero si sangra mucho, if you bleed a lot. Si sangra mucho, if you bleed a lot. Si está, if you are, fill in the blank for adjective. If you're dizzy, if you're tired, if you're fatigued, if you're whatever. Si experimenta mucho, if you experience a lot of, fill in the blank with whatever symptom comes next, yeah? If you have, fill in the blank with whatever symptoms that might be warning signs for what you're talking about, okay? Bien, so keep in mind those underlines could be useful uh, for you in other scenarios as well. All right, it's time to practicar. Para conversar, selecciona dos procedimientos menores. So choose two like minor procedures that come through your clinic or hospital or floor or whatever your scenario is as you work with patients. Choose two common ones and do this. Practice informando al paciente lo que hiciste, informing the patient what you did. Dando instrucciones para cuidados en casa, so giving instructions for at-home care. Describiendo las precauciones que debe tomar, so describing the precautions they should take. And comunicando los signos de advertencia uh, que tienen que vigilar. And communicating the warning signs that they need to be watching out for. Vigilar. Okay. All right. That's your conversation um, goal for this lesson. If you need a conversation partner, head over to the Learning Medical Spanish group, put yourself out there. Hey, I'm a nurse practitioner and I want to practice these kinds of scenarios, the video of Yarny's lesson this week. Who wants to be a practice partner with me? Okay. Preguntas, go ahead and post them below in the comment section. We'll be happy to answer them for you there. Okay, amigos, hey, if you're learning something uh, through this video or in general with our Video Viernes series, make sure you like the videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's how we're able to share this with more people and help more people speak better Spanish in their communities. Okay, amigos, gracias por aprender español conmigo. Thanks for learning Spanish with me. Juntos, sí, mejoramos comunidades. Together, we truly are improving communities. Para más español, head over, head over to the website, commongroundinternational.com. And para tomar un examen de español médico, if you want to take some free medical Spanish exams, terminology exams, head over to Certified Spanish, and you can take as many free medical Spanish terminology exams as you would like. Okay, amigos, hasta luego. Gracias. Chao.